previously on Detour. With all extreme sports such as whitewater rafting, there is always the inherent risk of death. As we entered a bad section of the rapids, two of our team members actually fell off the raft and were sucked underneath the boat. Your body starts to panic, you're gasping for air, and as they were stuck underneath the boat, their life was on the line. With all extreme sports such as whitewater rafting, there is always the inherent risk of death. As we entered a bad section of the rapids, two of our team members actually fell off the raft and were sucked underneath the boat. Your body starts to panic, you're gasping for air, and as they were stuck underneath the boat, their life was on the line. waterfalls is where you have a river or stream way up high and it's looking for the path of, path of least resistance. In this case, over 50 feet above us there's either a small stream or a small creek that has found its way to the river but it traverses over the top of this cliff giving us this waterfall. Now places like this are extremely beautiful but at the same time if there's hard rains this waterfall is even more torrent of water coming down. At the same time, it can also cause a lot of danger because it's dislodging rocks up at the top. So if it is a really rainy time and you're below a waterfall, you probably shouldn't be hanging out there because there's a chance you might get hit by a rock. So the fact that we got rain coming, we need to get out of here. We went back to Maragusan to witness the beauty of their waterfalls. The water here was crystal clear. Waterfalls are a place where water flows over a vertical drop or a series of drops in the course of a stream or river. The highest waterfall in the world is actually found in Venezuela. It's called Angel Falls. It is 3,230 feet tall. To give you an idea how tall that is, you could stack nearly 81 buses end to end and it would be that tall. The first fall we went to, we actually had to walk an hour through thick jungle, rough terrain. To make it worse, it was actually starting to rain and the cliffs did not make it any safer.
you the waterfall is 20 feet tall long. Yeah, I got that feeling. I got that feeling. Hey June, what do you think about this place? Arrived to the waterfall, let's just say it was less than awe-inspiring. It was in fact a disappointment. However, we did find a dead serpent eagle, which our guide believed had been poached by someone earlier that day. Aguila. Wow, look at the pretty beetles. Probably shot. We found a dead eagle. So a serpent eagle. We found a dead eagle. Papa yang slow. Mau. Kaya. Bago bago lang yung matay. Second Falls, however, was near the road, and it was even more magnificent than the first. Both waterfalls, though, were still in pristine condition. Even the one close to the road had been well taken care of. Here we are, waterfall number two for today's detour. It's actually 12 waterfalls. We only get to go to one. This water is freezing cold again. I don't know why all the water's got to be so cold. Coming up next on Detour. How we take care of this planet and how we take care of our water is very, very important. If by 2025, the Earth has an estimated, probably by that time, nine plus billion people that need this water to survive, how we take care of it right now is very, very important. It's your choice. Yeah. 